In downtown Dayton, the Neon Movie Theater wants people to stop by and see a documentary about the Dayton community coming together during the early days of the pandemic. News Center 7's Candace Price looks at pieces of the film and the story of unity and innovation. It's a story like so many others in the Miami Valley, a story of innovation and the community coming together during a time of crisis. This is a place where we, we still make things. We're doing something, we're contributing what we can. That was a clip from the trailer for We Still Make Things, a documentary that follows a team of Daytonians coming together to address the PPE shortage during the pandemic. Bringing this amazing team together with the University of Dayton Research Institute and with eventually with, with IPC, which is an auto parts manufacturer up in Piqua, to then make PPE our PPE here locally. Wright State graduate Ian Cook directed the roughly 13-minute film, which follows the process of this unlikely team joining forces. That was like quintessential Dayton moment where we had this manufacturing base and then suddenly they, they come to uh, the rescue. Auto manufacturing was also shut down during the pandemic, leaving a surplus of materials at Industry Products Co. in Piqua. So they had all, all this raw material that everyone had been scrambling, looking looking you know, high and low for across the country. Steve Bogner, the film's producer, says it was one of his favorite moments in the film. It really is one of my favorite moments in the movie when you see all the workforce at IPC, the folks up in Piqua, walking back into the factory. It reminds me so much of like, People go in World War II to build ships, right? They might have never been a factory worker before, but it's like, hey, we need to come together. And Bognar says it reminds him of the city's history of innovation and coming together. It goes yeah. right back to Orville and Wilbur. Seriously, I'm not <laughs> kidding. It's like they... They had to think outside the box to get that plane up in the air. The film took about eight months to come together and the crew of filmmakers risking their lives and innovating as well. It's the story of, of innovation, of, of collaboration, and it was a collective leap for all of us. And Bognar says it's a story that has touched him personally. It makes me proud to be from here because it just shows how in a crisis people come together and they figure things out. That was News Center 7's Candace Price reporting. We still make things open tonight at the Neon and we'll play through the weekend. For more information on tickets and showtimes, head over to neonmovies.org.